Welcome to the AWM in PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. Today we're going to take a closer look at one of the best sniper rifles in the game. We will check out the stats, the damage model, I will take it to the shooting range and I will show you how I got my hands on the M24 and the AWM in the same game. In Battlegrounds they call the AWM a monster sniper rifle and the only two ways of getting your hands on the AWM is to pick it up from an airdrop or to steal it out of the cold dead hands of your enemy who picked it up from an airdrop. You will never find it lying around in some remote building or anything like that. So in a way, your time with this weapon is limited. Unfortunately, it all depends on luck, because you never know what you will find in those airdrops. That is why it's so important to know the stats, so that you can take advantage of the AWM to win your next chicken dinner. The power rating is 100. This means that the AWM is extremely good. The only other weapons in PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds that have a power rating of 100 are the S1897 and the S686. Both of these weapons are shotguns and as you know they are very powerful, but they are limited in range. But not the AWM, it has a range rating of 100, which is the highest rating in Battlegrounds. Only the M24 comes close with a rating of 96. The stability is 34, which is okay for a sniper rifle. It's exactly the same as the stability rating for the Kar 98K, but the SKS does a whole lot better with 48. The AWM is a sniper rifle, so don't expect any miracles for the rate of fire. It has a rating of 6, which is the same as the M24, but is better than the Kar 98K, which has a rating of only 5. There is only one type of ammunition in Battlegrounds that is suitable for the AWM, and that is the 300 Magnum. You can only get your hands on this type of ammo from the same airdrop that gave you the AWM. You will never find it lying around somewhere, so make sure that every bullet counts because you only get 20. This means that you can't prepare yourself for this weapon. Normally you would collect a decent amount of 7.62mm ammo, so that you have enough bullets in case you find an M24, a Kar 98K or an SKS. As soon as you find an AWM, you might as well throw away all the 7.62mm cartridges because they just became obsolete, unless you have an AKM for example. The AWM has 5 bullets in one magazine, but this number can be improved if you attach an extended magazine or an extended quick draw magazine for a sniper rifle. This will increase the capacity from 5 to 7. On top of those magazines you can also attach a quick draw magazine for a sniper rifle. The cheek pad for a Kar 98K, the M24 and an AWM reduces the recoil kick and sway. The flash hider for a sniper rifle eliminates the muzzle flash and it slightly reduces the horizontal and vertical recoil. The compensator for sniper rifles slightly reduces the horizontal recoil and it reduces the vertical recoil. In other words, the compensator has a bigger effect on the vertical recoil but it doesn't hide the muzzle flash. And you can also attach a suppressor for a sniper rifle. The armor stats are pretty straightforward. One body shot against a guy who isn't wearing any body armor, otherwise you will need two body shots to kill. You will need only one bullet if you go for a headshot, so it does not matter which kind of helmet your enemy is using. Let's go to the firing range with the AWM so that we can see how it performs. The AWM is very simple. If you aim at the center of the target, then the bullet will also hit the center of the target. That is one of the reasons why this sniper rifle is so good. At this range there is absolutely no need to counter for the bullet drop. In general, the bullet drop is almost non-existent. You will only have to apply a very small correction if you go for long range headshots. You can use a practice shot method for ultra long range kills, but I rarely find it useful. Let's compare the AWM with all the other sniper rifles. As you could have guessed, nobody can beat the AWM's power rating of 100. Only the M24 comes close with a rating of 77 and the weakest one is the VSS with 32. You can see a similar pattern when you compare the range. 100 for the AWM, then the M24 with 96, the Kar 98K with 80, the SKS with 64 and then the VSS with only 38. This is the second time that the VSS has the worst statistics. The SKS has always been the second worst rifle, but it definitely performs better when we look at the stability and the firing rate. It is the only rifle that stands out when we look at the stability. It has a rating of 48 and all the other sniper rifles hover around a stability rating of 34, with the VSS performing worse than the rest with only 17. The SKS is a DMR and that means that it has a high rate of fire, 32 to be precise, which is much higher than the other rifles. The Kar 98K has the worst stats, only 5 and the AWM does slightly better with 6. As you can see the AWM never loses, it won the first 2 rounds and it was a runner up in the 3rd round. 
I will also show you all the stats for the different levels of body armor and I will highlight the main differences. The first thing that you will notice is that there is only one rifle that can kill an enemy with only one body shot and that is the AWM. It can only do that if your enemy isn't wearing any body armor at all. Most of the other rifles need two body shots to kill. The car 98k needs one extra bullet if he's wearing level 2 or higher and the SKS will need that one extra bullet if he's wearing armor level 1, 4 bullets against level 2 and 5 bullets against the highest level of armor. The VSS is a lot worse and it needs up to 7 bullets to kill a guy with the highest level of body armor. As you know, the AWM only needs one headshot to kill. The other rifles can do the same thing up to a certain point, except for the VSS. The CAR 98K and the M24 both need two headshots to kill if your enemy is wearing the best helmet in Battlegrounds. The SKS on the other side needs two headshots from the moment that your enemy is wearing a helmet and the VSS always needs two headshots except against the best helmet. In that case, it needs one extra bullet. It's pretty clear that the AWM is the best sniper rifle in player notes Battlegrounds. The only downside is the fact that you have to chase the airplane and then everything depends on luck because you never know what you're going to get. But once you have it, well, happy hunting. By the way, in one of the previous videos I showed you that I managed to pick up 3 ATAM scopes in one game. This time I managed to do even better and I got my hands on 4 ATAM scopes. I'm still trying to figure out how many there are in one game so if anyone has picked up more or if you saw one of your buddies with more than 4 then please let me know in the comments. I promised you that I would show you how you can get your hands on the AWM and the M24 in the same game. I started with picking up an M24 from an airdrop. The problem was that I didn't have a decent scope for this rifle, but luckily Janju was nice enough to bring me two ATAM scopes. Problem solved. The only thing left to do was to wait for a second airdrop and this one brought me an AWM. This is probably the most powerful loadout in Battlegrounds. Unfortunately it isn't the most versatile and I lost both rifles in a close range firefight. Imagine the look on the guy's face when he was stealing my equipment. To summarize, the AWM truly is a monster sniper rifle in PlayerUnknown Battlegrounds. One shot, one kill unless he's wearing any kind of body armor. So far I've covered all the sniper rifles, so feel free to check out one of those videos. This was Fog of Gaming, thanks for watching and I will see you in Battlegrounds.